Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Kingdom Come Deliverance. My name's Camel and today I've got a full lock picking guide for you all. Now Kingdom Come Deliverance kicks your ass and I suppose that's what makes it great. However, lock picking is absolutely soul crushing. Well, I've seen a million lock picking guides on YouTube. None of them really helped me out fully. So that's what I'm here to do for you today. Timestamps for each of the different topics can be found down in the description along with links to my social media and to my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides. Be sure to check them out. So firstly, getting lock picks. This at first seems very difficult or even near impossible, but rest assured you'll have plenty soon enough. There are three merchants in the game that sell lock picks, two of which have to be unlocked by questing for the millers. But we'll get to that in a minute. So the first merchant you'll come across can be found in Talmberg. He'll become available to interact with right after the Hungarian army leaves during the prologue. He can be found here in Talmberg, right next to the gate that you use to exit the city. Though Tava here will sell 10 lock picks. If you can afford it at this point in the game, buy all 10. You'll need them, no doubt. Now this guy is in a pretty inconvenient spot and he doesn't refresh his stock very often at all. So we'll need to unlock the other two lockpick merchants, the Millers. So just after the prologue, like literally the first thing that happens after the prologue, you'll wake up at the Millers in Ratai. Now the guy that owns this place, Peshek, when you go and speak to him and thank him for taking care of you for two weeks while you're unconscious, he will ask you to do a little favor for him, and this will give us a quest called The Good Thief, in which we have to recover a ring, blah 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 blah. What you need to do is finish this quest, but before we get to the end of it, during this quest, Peshek will ask us if we know how to pick locks. What you want to say is that no, you don't. He'll then take us to the back of his mill where he has a practice locked chest. Now I'm not sure if this tutorial automatically breaks a few of your locks to let you know that you're absolutely terrible at it, or if you can actually open this first go, but seriously, the millisecond I touched the controller, the lock just snapped instantly, so do as little as you need to do to get out of this tutorial, then don't think about lock picking until the quest is over. So once you do finish the quest, you'll be sent to Wojzek. It's just up the river, as we can see here, his little house is found, again, just up the river to the northeast of Rite's Miller, which is where your home base is, basically, and also Miller Pischek. So at the end of the quest, The Good Thief, this guy will be unlocked as a fence, someone you can sell stolen goods to. Now, when you talk to him and click on sell stolen goods, this will open his trader inventory, which as you can see, he now sells 20 lockpicks. And again, access to him as a merchant will only be unlocked once you finish the Good Thief quest. Now what you can do is actually head back to Miller Peshek, the guy that gave you the quest in the first place. He will now also be available as a fence. Again, click Sell Stolen Goods. This will open his inventory as a trader. And guess what? He's also got 20 lockpicks. So you can buy 20 lockpicks off him, and you can also buy 20 off Miller Wojzek. And very infrequently, you can buy 10 lockpicks off Voltava in Talmberg. So they are the three merchants. Now I tested this in game and after roughly five to seven days of in-game time, the merchants reset their stock, allowing me or you to buy 20 more lockpicks from the two millers and 10 from the bloke in Talmberg. So yes, you can continue buying more and more lockpicks provided enough in-game time has passed for the merchants to restock. So now that we have a large supply of lockpicks, how the hell do we use these damn things? Well, if you suck at lockpicking in this game, trust me, it's not you, it's the game. But don't worry, follow these steps and it will become a lot easier, a lot faster. So firstly, training. Milipashek will actually be able to train us in lockpicking. A new training level will become available for every five levels in lockpicking we progress. So firstly, regardless of your lockpicking level, train in the beginner version. Haggle the price if you like, but 60 gold for a 0% pain level up in lockpicking? Yes please, that's a goddamn bargain. And if you don't have that much gold at this point in the game, why not? But also I'm gonna have lots of guides to help you out there. So now what we wanna do is actually give the art of lockpicking a crack. Now remember that chest that Milipashek let us practice on during the quest The Good Thief? Well, we want to walk over to the back of his mill to that very same chest. And on it, we are going to practice lockpicking. 
I'd suggest saving before doing this in case you burn through all of your lockpicks, you can just reload, and it's also a good way to just get training in real life of how the hell this mechanic actually works in game. So on a console controller, you'll need to move the right thumbstick until the dot is on the sweet spot. You'll know when the dot turns large and it turns gold. Then with the left thumbstick, you need to rotate that to rotate the lock while simultaneously moving the right thumbstick to keep the dot on the sweet spot while the lock is rotating. Try it out a few times and you'll get the hang of it, or you'll get the gist of it. Getting the hang of it's a lot harder. Now on PC, it's much easier, as all you need to do is find the sweet spot with the mouse, then hold down the D key to rotate the lock. This is way easier because the lock rotates at a consistent speed and all you have to worry about is moving the mouse or the sweet spot. Now once you do get the hang of it and you unlock the chest, what you need to do is open it, then close it, then turn around and look away to the pretty river, then turn back around and the chest will be locked once more. So of course go ahead and unlock it again. This is just an excellent way to get some free lockpick level ups provided of course you can unlock it. Which although it may seem like you can't, you definitely can. I did it, you can do it. Now before you go crazy and get too carried away lockpicking this chest until the sun goes down, as soon as you hit level three in lockpicking, it is vital that you take this perk. The lasting lockpicks perk. Once you hit level three in lockpicking, you'll unlock a perk point and this perk will become available to choose. Choose it. Your lockpicks will be more durable and last twice as long. Once you choose this perk, which again, do it as soon as you hit level three in lockpicking. But once you get it, breaking a lockpick is so much harder to do. For example, I broke about five lockpicks during level one and level two of lockpicking. And once I took this perk, I've broken three lockpicks after opening about 300 chests and doors. Seriously, the millisecond you hit level three in lockpicking, take this perk. Your life will become much, much, much easier. So once you've unlocked this practice chest 10 times, it maxes out and it will not lock again. So what we'll need to do is find some other locks to pick. What I did, I just walked around town at nighttime and picked people's front doors open. You don't need to go into the house. In fact, there's more chance of you getting caught if you walk into the house. Just walk around the neighborhood when no one's looking, unlock their front door, walk away. And also, when you come back the next night, all the doors will be locked again. So you literally just have a massive lock picking training ground. Although before you get too carried away, two things you need to remember. As soon as you hit level five in lock picking, go back to Milipashek and get the lock picking training. This will be more expensive, but again, leveling from five to six is a lot harder than leveling up whatever low level you did earlier. So now we'll be on level six of lock picking and we'll have another perk point available to spend. Again, it's very, very important that you take this perk. You need to take the deft grip perk. The starting position when lock picking will be closer to the end of the lock, making it easier to open. So what this means is that the sweet spot is generally going to be more towards the center of the lock. This makes it easier because when you then turn the lock, the sweet spot moves less. Whereas if it was outside on the edge and you spin the lock, the sweet spot moves a lot, making it a lot harder for you to keep the sweet spot golden as the lock rotates. So this deft grip perk makes lock picking again a lot easier. Then with the lasting lock picks perk, your lock picks are going to last twice as long and going to be twice as durable. So you're going to have much less of a chance breaking them. Those two perks combined make lock picking so much easier. Seriously, get to level six in lock picking and you're just going to have clear sailing the whole way through. Unless you encounter some like very hard locks and in that case again just find the nearest bed sleep have a rest save the game then give it a crack but if you follow this guide that i've just given you you'll seriously go from wanting to rip your own hair out to feeling much more comfortable when you're confronted with locks all the way up to hard and very hard it won't feel like an impossible task it'll feel like something you're excited to do because you know there's some damn juicy loot inside that chest that you're gonna get Again, since I got those two perks, I've literally broken three lock picks after opening about 200 or 300 locks. It's an absolute breeze. So go and have some fun, open some doors and some chests and get some delicious loot. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my lock picking guide 
for Kingdom Come Deliverance. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, I think you'll be very interested in checking out my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides. Links to them can be found down in the description, along with links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.